Everywhere you look, people are on their phones, right? And most of the time, they aren't talking, they're actually kind of scrolling. Well, the social media frenzy has really impacted the way we communicate with each other, but it's also impacting, well, something else. As our medical specialist, Christy Kruger, shows us, a growing number of young people are turning to plastic surgery and other cosmetic procedures to look picture perfect. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, social media has us swimming in a sea of smiling faces and more aware than ever of our facial flaws and imperfections. And we're actually seeing ourselves right there on the screen. So we're looking at ourselves much more closely than we ever had before. Ten years ago, we were looking at photo albums. Now we're seeing ourselves pretty much real time, live all the time. That pressure to look good from all angles has more people turning to plastic surgeons and dermatologists. More than 40% of doctors in a recent survey said patients told them looking better on social media was their incentive for getting a cosmetic procedure. People want their image to look like these celebrities that they see out there. And so they're looking for something that's quick, no downtime, and not super expensive. Case in point, 27-year-old Miami event coordinator Malin Perez. Almost 4,000 people follow her on Instagram. But when Malin looks at herself on social media, she sees room for improvement. Yeah, I think that in photos you can see more of your flaws, more than in the mirror. I don't really know why, but I, I think maybe the certain angle, the way you're holding the phone. Her quest to be picture perfect brought Malin to see Miami Beach dermatologist Dr. Martin Zayak who's working to reshape her lips with fillers. I started noticing that my lips were kind of uneven and I wanted to get a little bit more of that symmetrical look that people are now liking and, you know, like Kylie Jenner and the Kardashians. Not only has the number of procedures increased by about 115% in the U.S. since the year 2000, but the kinds of procedures has really shifted all because of social media. Lip fillers and Botox are the top sellers among selfie lovers, but some patients are opting for more invasive procedures, eye lips and nose jobs. Some of my patients see other people on Facebook and Instagram and other social media outlets, and what they're seeing is, they, oh, I like this person's lip, oh, I love this person's nose, and they're coming and saying, I wish my nose looked more like that, or I wish my nose looked more contoured, or my lips were more enhanced. I was fine with front-on angles. When you get that profile before I did my nose, it was like, ugh. Oh. That's why 26-year-old Maximo Cortez recently had rhinoplasty. His nose just wasn't Facebook friendly. He says the lack of control when it came to what his friends posted was the problem. Today, he jumps into pictures without a second thought. It's great now. Like now, it's like, take a picture, go ahead and fire away. Even like the little things like I could, when I had my nose before, I could never wear a backwards hat. It, you know, it kind of like strengthened your profile. So even being able to do that now is awesome. And with the social media craze not likely to fade anytime soon, expect to see even more young patients spending big bucks for that picture perfect post. With a special health report, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. All right, thanks a lot, Christy.